determinant. We learned that a system of linear equations can be expressed in the form of matrices. For example, linear equations in two variables x and y, say a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y is equal to c2 can be expressed in matrix form as matrix a1, b1, a2, b2 into matrix xy is equal to matrix c1, c2. This system of equations can have one unique solution that is if a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, it may have infinitely many solutions. If a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 or no solution if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 depends on the value of a1, a2, b1, b2. Therefore, the quantity or the number a1, b2 minus a2, b1 determines the solution for the given system of linear equation. This number is called determinant of the matrix a1, b1, a2, b2. For every square matrix A is equal to Aij of order n, we can associate a number called determinant of the square matrix A, where Aij is equal to Aij element of A. If A is equal to 2 by 2 square matrix with elements A, B, C, D, then determinant A is written as det A is equal to det A, B, C, D. For matrix A, Determinant A is reader, determinant of A and not modulus of A. Only square matrices have determinants. Determinant of a matrix of order 1. Let A is equal to A be the matrix of order 1. Then determinant of A is defined to be equal to A. Let A is equal to 2 by 2 matrix with elements A11, A12, a21, A22. Then the determinant of A is defined as A11 into A22 minus A21 into A12. Determinant of a matrix of order 3. Determinant of a matrix of order 3 can be determined by expressing it in terms of second order determinants. This is known as expansion of determinant along a row or a column. There are six ways of expanding a determinant of order 3 corresponding to each of three rows and three columns. Consider the determinant of a square matrix A is equal to Aij of order 3 by 3. That is, determinant of A is equal to determinant of A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23. A31, A32 and A33. Now, let us see how we find the value of this determinant by expanding it along first row that is R1. Consider the element A11. A11 belongs to first row and first column of the given determinant A. Delete the first row and first column of the determinant A. Evaluate the value of determinant obtained by deleting the first row and the first column of A. That is determinant of A22, A23, A32, A33. Multiply this determinant value with minus 1 whole to the power of sum of the suffixes in A11 and A11. Step 2. Multiply second element A12 of R1 by minus 1 whole to the power of sum of the suffixes in A12 and the second order determinant obtained by deleting the elements of first row and second column of that A as A12 lies in R1 and C2. Step 3. Multiply third element A13 of R1 by minus 1 whole power 1 plus 3 and the second order determinant obtained by deleting the elements of first row and third column of determinant A. Step 4. Now the expansion of determinant of A that is det A written as sum of all three terms obtained in steps 1, 2 and 3. 
that is that a is equal to a11 into a22 a33 minus a32 a23 minus a12 into a21 a33 minus a31 a23 plus a13 into a21 a32 minus a31 a22 therefore the final answer of determinant of a when we expand along the first row r1 is a11 a22 a33 minus a11 a32 a23 minus a12 a21 a33 plus a12 a31 a23 plus a13 a21 a32 minus a13 a31 a22 now let us expand this determinant a along the row r2 by applying all four steps together so we get that a is equal to minus 1 whole power 2 plus 1 into a21 into determinant a12 a13 a32 a33 plus minus 1 whole to the power of 2 plus 2 into a22 into the determinant a11 a13 a31 a33 plus minus 1 whole to the power of 2 plus 3 into a23 into determinant a11 a12 a31 a32 on simplification get the debt value as a11 a22 a33 minus a11 a23 a32 minus a12 a21 a33 plus a12 a23 a31 plus a13 a21 a32 minus a13 a31 a22 we observe that the value of the determinant obtained by expanding along the row r1 and along the row r2 are equal similarly when we evaluate the value of this determinant by expanding along any of the column c1 c2 or c3 also we get the same value of debt a as we 